Mr. Blavatnik, congratulations on Access Industries' purchase of the Warner Music Group. I just wanted to send a message about something that might not have turned up in due diligence. I'm not a lawyer, but did you realize that before Warner Music Group was spun off from AOL Time Warner, that the company CNET had a co-branded content and software distribution deal? AOL was paid millions of dollars for years to distribute, among other offerings, um, LimeWire, Kazaa, Morpheus, Grokster, all AOL co-branded. You can ask Mr. Shelby Bonney, the original founder of CNET, about the deal with um, AOL Time Warner, as Mr. Bonney has been a longtime member of the Warner Music Group Board of Directors. Actually, did you know that Mr. Bonney was the CEO and chairman of CNET as he was a sitting board of directors member of Warner Music Group? At a time that CNET was distributing millions of downloads a week of Morpheus, LimeWire, Kazaa, Grokster, not to mention AOL's ICQ and AOL's Instant Messenger. Now, CNET promoted this file sharing software with lots of copyright infringing or potentially copyright infringing uses. Are you aware of all the copyrighted songs and artists that were openly used on CNET to review and instruct users of this P2P software? Much of this material was co-branded not only AOL, but other Warner properties such as Netscape and CompuServe. Did you know that Warner has a long history of suing copyright infringers that use such software as Napped during Kazaa? At the exact same time that AOL Time Warner was a paid distributor of file sharing software, which included not only Napster and Kazaa, but as I said before, Morpheus, LimeWire, BearShare, Audio Galaxy, Scour, iMesh, Grokster, all part of a deal earning many millions of dollars for several years, since the download software content included CNET reviews that often prominently featured copyrighted songs. Music files or any files online that are copyrighted, do you really want to get sued? We'll introduce you to a file sharing client that might save your bacon. Coming up next. Known copyrighted artists and infringing uses, did your access industry attorneys really fully study all the possible ramifications and potential liability exposure, particularly associated with the paid distribution of LimeWire? And Mr. Blavatnik, have you seen the court documents that Warner submitted in the massive number of copyright infringement court cases over the years? And how the Warner sworn statements actually describe these file sharing downloads. You, you should see what they said about them. Well, they should know they were distributing them. And, uh, you know, I'm stupid. I'm stupid when it comes to these matters. But I couldn't find any documentation admitting to the court that the AOL division of the Time Warner family actually was earning income as they were distributing the exact same software that Warner was actually suing the defendants for using at exactly the same time. Um, using exactly the same software co-branded from CNET. And they were using it just as they were taught by the CNET reviews. Maybe under the law this isn't relevant. I I'm confused. But are you aware of new litigation involving CNET's decade-long distribution of these file sharing software downloads, particularly LimeWire? Um, Elkie David has filed a lawsuit against CNET and CBS. Has your song, movie, software, literary work, or even a photograph, been illegally distributed on the internet through the software LimeWire. Well, if it has, please sign the form below. You are cordially invited to join this class action lawsuit against CNET for distributing the software with malicious intent to infringe on your copyright. The damages are in the many billions of dollars and you could be a part of that award. <laughs> that is in the process right now of adding potentially tens of thousands of infringed U.S. copyrighted works, actually, if not hundreds of thousands, mostly e-book publishers, as Cena actually offered the DRM removal software for Amazon's Kindle, as well as several other e-reading systems. Now, the copyrighted works that are turning up right now that are people are coming forward with um, were widely distributed on LimeWire and FrostWire and actually all the other systems they were offering. And I've, and I've actually heard rumors, Mr. Blavatnik, that cached 
cash-strapped countries and music rights groups around the world are beginning to see CBS and national amusements as a potential billion-dollar cash pinata. Oh, and did the access industry's attorneys in the course of performing due diligence look into the pending cases of file-sharing defendants that, like, use Kazaa software and this other software? Um, that may have actually been downloaded from the AOL Time Warner site itself before the spinoff of Time of the Warner Music Group. I, oh, and yes, it certainly would be worth the effort to have your attorneys look into the cases of former defendants of the Warner lawsuits. You know these big these big group lawsuits, such as Brianna Lahara. I've been calling dozens of these families. Ask Mr. Bronfman if you might find any surprises. I did. I really did. You you should ask him. Now, I know your deal is finalized. It's full term pregnant, okay? And it's ready to give birth today. And all I've said is it's likely a moot point anyway, as your attorney certainly have explored any liability that may transfer with this sale related to all these issues I just described. But just in case, just in case any of these issues were overlooked, it wouldn't be right for you to assume this potential liability baggage. But I'm not an attorney, I'm not an accountant. What do I know? But I really do know those $150,000 statutory damages per infringed copyrighted work can really pile up, especially since Cena had sites around the world in such litigious countries as France, Australia, several others. Ask Mr. Bonnie. He's probably there today. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I might be totally wrong on every point. And I'm quite certain Mr. Bronfman and Mr. Bonnie will absolutely assure you that everything is fine and that... And that absolutely no surprises await. So, Mr. Blavatnik, you still might consider having Mr. Bronfman and Mr. Bonnie each sign a little handwritten personal note absolving Access Industries from any liability related to any of the before mentioned things I've just related to. I mean, you might not have been aware of some of these matters. I'm not certain. Of course, I'm certain these issues all came out in due diligence anyway. And all these questions were probably discussed and settled months ago. But either way, congratulations on the purchase of Warner Music Group. And um, you certainly got yourself quite a deal.